Good morning, sixth graders. Um, this video is to show you how to get to your week five learning assignments and how to complete your week five learning assignments. That's right, we're on week five already, which is pretty awesome. Um, and you guys have been doing a really awesome job of reaching out with questions about work and completing work. So I wanna give a huge shout out to like the whole sixth grade. You guys are being really, <clears throat> great independent learners right now, which is a really hard skill to have um, at any age. So nice job taking initiative for your learning and learning um, on your own. Oopsies. All right, so today we're going to learn where to find our week five um, learning assignments. So of course, like always, we wanna go <clears throat> to our applications page we're going to click on Unified Classroom. We're gonna click Sign In with Microsoft, if it asks us. And then once we get to our homepage for Unified, up at the top right here, yours is gonna say All Classes. You're gonna to wanna to click on the drop-down menu and pick on your English class. You're gonna click on English class. Then remember on the left hand side right here, we're going to click on class pages. And once we click on class pages, we're going to come to our ELA um, class pages. And as you already know, on the left hand side right here, we have all the weeks listed out. So we have week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and of course the video, how to upload an assignment to Unified Classroom. But this video is about week five learning assignments. So I'm gonna click on the week five tab right here. And I see I have a bunch of different things already here. So I'm gonna take my time and, and learn about all of these things. So the first thing under week number five are the directions for this week. So I'm gonna read those. It says, hi all, please read the following directions to learn how to complete your week five learning assignments. So I'm gonna click on this document right here. And then down at the bottom left-hand corner, I'm gonna click on that document so I can read and I gotta share this with you guys. So reading the directions says, good morning, sixth graders. Please read the directions below in order to understand how to complete week five learning assignments. Happy learning. So assignment number one this week says, watch making predictions video. What is that? I'm gonna learn about what that is. Um, how to complete assignment number one. To complete assignment number one, you need to watch the video making predictions. This video can be found on the ELA Unified Classroom class pages under the week five learning assignments, week of 5.11 tab. Awesome, we're already there. That's how we're reading these directions. Um, this video will show Ms. D'Amico and guest teacher Ms. Footit um, teach you how to make predictions while reading a book. Uh, myself and Ms. Footit are gonna be making predictions about the first two pages of Virtual War, which if you did last week's learning assignment, the second one for last week, um, you'll know that you read those two pages and you answer questions about them on Unified Classroom. Um, okay, so it says that I need to watch this video to complete assignment number one. That's easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna go back to my class pages, right? We're on week five still. And, oh, look, right under here, it's the making predictions video. It says, hi all, please watch this video in order to complete assignment number one this week. Cool. So I'm gonna click on this video. And it's gonna take me to the making predictions video that myself and Miss Footit made. Now I do wanna give a shout out to two students, Arcy and Yaslin. Um, I asked R.C. and Yaslin to be a part of this video, and they did an awesome job going through what myself and Ms. Footit do in this video about making predictions about the first two pages of Virtual Wars. Unfortunately, 
the recording did not save when we recorded with RC and Yaslin, which was a huge bummer. Um, but they were really awesome, and we do include um, a written part of what they did. So I still want to give them a shout out, though. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to watch this video. It's 27 minutes long. Ah, that's really long. But here's the thing. This is all you have to do for assignment one. All you have to do is watch this video. That's it. I don't have to answer questions. No, that'll be assignment two. So assignment one is just watching this video. And just for your information, you won't be able to complete assignment two correctly if you don't watch this video. So sit back, make some lunch, make some breakfast, get some popcorn, watch this making predictions video. And of course, feel free to take notes um, about what it means to make predictions. So that's just assignment one. Bam, after you watch this video, you are all done. But as you guys know, we have more than just one assignment for ELA class. We have two assignments. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to those directions on that Word document, and you're gonna read what assignment number two is. Figure this out. Screen share, share the screen. Okay, here we go. So assignment number two says complete the learning target one week five making predictions assessment on Unified Classroom. Oh, cool. You guys did an assessment last week, so you should know where to find it. But if you don't, we're going to walk through how to get there. So it first says you have to complete assignment number one, which is watching that video first, or else you will not receive credit for assignment two. It's gonna be really clear who doesn't watch the video, okay? Because you won't be able to answer the questions correctly. So you wanna make sure you watch that assignment one um, making predictions video first. Then you're gonna to go to Unified Classroom. You're gonna to go to English. You're gonna to go to the right-hand side of the screen where it says upcoming assignments. You're gonna click view more. And you're gonna click on the learning target to week five making predictions assignment. So let's do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the internet. Once again, we're going back to Unified Classroom. Remember, it's so important that up here you click on your English class or else you're going to get all the assignments for every other class and that's just going to be a lot. So where it says all classes, you want to find your English class. There's English. And then on the right hand side right here, we're going to see something that says recent assignments. Uh Oh, well, it only has one assignment. Well, that's not right. So you're going to click view all or view more, um, whatever your button says over here. So you're going to click that, and then you should get to all of your assignments for ELA. And so I was told to look for learning target one, week two, making predictions. Boop, there it is. I'm going to click on that. And then remember, my screen's a little bit different than yours. So I'm going to show you what your screen looks like. So it's going to say something like take assessment or something about the assessment. So you're going to click on view assessment, take assessment, whatever it says here. And then you're going to get to a page that looks like this, Virtual Ward Chapter 2 Predictions. You're going to click Accept. You're going to read these directions. It says, please watch the video titled, um, well, it's actually not mini lesson predicting sixth grade. It's making predictions. So the making predictions video, which you watch for assignment one, under the week five learning assignment tab in Unified Classroom. Then use what you learned from the video to make predictions about making predictions to read the next two pages of Virtual War and make at least one more prediction. You're gonna make two. So you're gonna click Start on this assessment. All right, these first two questions, it says to answer this question, you must first watch the video under week five learning assignments, which you should have already done. Then it says, after watching the making predictions video, please answer the following question in complete sentences. What does it mean to make a prediction when you are reading a book? That will be answered in the video. And to answer the question, remember it says you need to use complete sentences. So I'm gonna restate the question. 
So I'm going to say something like, um, in order to make a prediction, making a prediction when reading a book means you, you're going to fill in the blank there. All right, so whatever it means to make a prediction based on what myself and Ms. Footit talked about in the video. We've got one more question in this section. Again, it says you have to watch the video to answer it and you have to answer it in complete sentences. What is one prediction that either Ms. Footit or Ms. D'Amico or R.C. or Yaslin made about virtual war in the video? What did they use to make their prediction? So again, we got to answer in complete sentences. So one prediction that we'll say Mrs. Footit made was, and you're gonna fill in the blank there, dot, 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 right? To make, you can't fill in there, all right? So you might have to make it a short answer. Just the prediction is fine with me, okay? Then you're gonna go on to the next section after you finish that first section. The next section is gonna ask you guys to take what you learned in the video and apply it to the next part of virtual war. So on the left-hand side, you're gonna see the next two pages of virtual war. Really interesting, honestly. I was really excited to um, read it. So you're gonna read these two pages and then on the right-hand side, you're gonna make two predictions, okay? The first prediction you're gonna make, the question asks, what is one prediction you can make about Corgan based on these pages? Remember to answer the question in complete sentences. Okay, so we wanna think after we read this, what's one prediction that I can make about Corgan? And I give you sentence starters if you want that help with sentence starters. So you're gonna put the answer in this box when you have your answer, okay? Your next question asks, what is one prediction you can make about the setting? Remember, the setting is where the story is, being, is taking place. So what's one prediction you can make about the setting based on these pages, based on what you just read right here? Again, I give you a sentence starter if you want help. And then you're going to type your answer in this box right here. When you're done, you're going to click Finish and Submit. You're going to say, yeah, I want to submit my assessment, OK? And then you are going to be done with assignment number two, OK? And those are your two learning assignments this week in ELA class. Easy peasy. And always remember, when you finish your two assignments for ELA class, you want to head over to iReady and get at least 45 minutes of ELA iReady done so that you are making your brain real big and real smart, OK? All right, I hope that answered your guys' questions about how to complete these assignments for the fifth week, week five of ELA class. Happy learning.